Well, this morning we're going in depth on just how difficult it is for people experiencing domestic violence to escape. To leave and then to get back on your feet involves navigating complicated systems of legal, financial, and social services. ABC Action News in depth reporter Anthony Hill talked with the CEO of a Pinellas County domestic violence agency about her experience with domestic violence and how it was difficult for her to know what to do after she decided to leave her abuser. I was in a situation um, that it escalated and my ex-husband did try to murder me in front of my children. Lauriana Forsyth is happy to be alive. She's the CEO of CASA, a domestic violence agency in Pinellas County that helps survivors get back on their feet. And as a survivor herself, she knows how difficult it can be to navigate the system after deciding to leave. I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't know what services I needed to get. She yeah, says it can be difficult for someone. many survivors because they oftentimes need a new living situation. They may need to decide if they want to press charges against their abuser. And if there are children involved, they're going to need legal assistance. I had attorneys, I had help, I had people giving me advice, um, but I didn't understand how the system worked together. The agencies involved don't necessarily work with each other, forcing the survivor to navigate the system on their own. And so without that understanding, it's really difficult to make you know the, the, the right moves. And when going to different agencies, survivors must often recount their experience, which can be traumatic and detrimental to their mental health. And coming up on ABC Action News this evening, I'll bring you an in-depth report on how soon it'll be easier for survivors to get all of the services they need from the different agencies all under one roof. In Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.